What's up guys, this is Matt from Bishes RVs. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a 2023 Grand Design Transcend Explorer. It's a 265 BH. Super cool layout, very unique to the RV industry. So um, let's hop right in and see what features it's got. As per usual, we're gonna start from the outside and then work our way in. First here, you're gonna notice the power tongue jack. So the days of cranking your camper up and down are over and done with. Pretty nice, pretty handy. Um, here are where your batteries are gonna go. You're gonna get two propane tanks up front. Nice magnetic latch for the pass-through storage that is completely unobstructed. This is a golden thread feature. You get two nice lights here. Um, you can set them to motion sensor or something like that. Yep, so I just wave my hand and then it went off automatically, but I'll just keep it on for now. Anyways, here's your water bay. Um, your battery disconnect is gonna be right here. Um, you're gonna have an outlet as well as um, some TV plugins. You're also gonna be able to fill your city water and fresh water tanks, your gray tank or your fresh tank. So yeah, this is a nice, large, unobstructed pass-through storage. And then here you're gonna have your solar charge controller, which is pretty cool. You're gonna get four manual stabilizer jacks, one here, one on the other side, and then two in the back. You're gonna have a black tank flush valve right here. Very nice and handy for getting all that poop out of your black tank. Low point drains, um, your tank flushes right there. It's gonna be a dual axle on this one. The tires on this bad boy have a one year, no questions asked warranty, which is pretty cool. 30 amp power plug right here. And then you're also gonna have your hot water heater. Transcend is also gonna feature a nice ladder as well as the drain points. So as you can see, it is melt, like the snow is melting here in the warehouse. Anyways, moving on, um, you get two nice tinted windows for the bunks. So the boys can each have their windows when y'all are out camping. And then here is honestly one of the coolest parts about this thing. It has a giant storage space down here. Like what other camper has like a trunk? <laughs> like, I don't know of any. This is the first I've seen. Unless it's a toy hauler, then that doesn't really count. But anyways, spare tire. Have a nice electric awning with uh, LED lights and then outdoor speakers up there. Um, let's see what else. TV plug-in right there. And then again, outlets. So these stairs are gonna be the fold-out stairs. Pretty nice and handy. And then you're also gonna get your propane quick connect down there. So this camper is gonna be fully heated and enclosed. Yeah, let's just show that again. Fully heated, fully enclosed. Very nice, especially for um, those late fall camping trips. And here's a spray port. So you can wash off the kids, the dogs, whatever you need. Moving on into the camper. You're gonna get a nice handrail right there. Gonna get a jackknife sofa right here so this does fold out into a bed pretty easily. Did that one-handed. Putting it back is a different story. I have to use my legs, that's fine. You're gonna get two bunks in the back. So just check out the layout, sorry. Probably should have just shown you the layout first. So bunks in the back, jackknife sofa, dinette, fridge, kitchen, entertainment. Very nice and open, very spacious. And then you're also gonna get a bathroom that is gonna be a walkthrough. Um, a lot of people don't like that, but honestly, I think it's pretty cool, especially for a family, because I don't know about you, but when you're camping, it's the middle of the night, and the kids have to go all the way to the front of the camper to disturb mom and dad in the bathroom that's tucked in like kind of a corner. So you have to walk through that hallway. It's annoying. But this one, you can have the door completely sealed like this. Boom, door sealed. And then at night, kids could get out of their bunks, trot on over, and then use the bathroom, and then go back to bed. Now, obviously, you're still gonna hear it, but it's gonna be a lot less noisy than the hallway, in my opinion, at least. You're gonna get a nice closet 
right next to the bunk beds as well as a little bit of storage space for each of the kids junk um, each of the beds is gonna have a curtain as well as the teddy bear mattress these things are soft I don't know if you've ever felt them but I absolutely love them and they are very comfortable and then again each kid is going to get their own little window with a pull down shade moving on over here again pull down shades nice tinted windows so this does allow a lot of natural light to come into the camper, which is really nice because a lot of times these campers don't have too many windows and the more windows, the better, honestly, in my opinion. From what I've seen, I like natural light and a lot of my customers do too. This TV does swing out, does have a swing arm mount. So if the kids want to watch TV while in bed, they can. Um, or if you're inside the dinette, you can watch TV that way too. Here's your control panel. Control your tanks, slide in, awning, and then you have an entertainment center right there. Or stereo system right there. Bluetooth, aux, HDMI, whatever. Has the whole nine yards. Booth dinette does convert into a bed. And then here is the construction quality of the Transcend. So if you are a construction nerd and want to read all of the different features that Grand Designs come with and the construction quality, you can read this or you can check out my article. I too am a big nerd and I love doing research and I love writing. So I created a blog talking about the Grand Design construction quality and how it's superior to the rest of the competition. So go ahead and check that out in the description and um, yeah, let's move on. Moving on, we got a nice three burner stove, little oven for the pizza rolls and whatnot. Got a microwave. And then again, this does have a lot of condensation on it because it is super cold here in Davenport, Iowa, technically Elk Ridge, but stainless steel sink, gooseneck faucet, drain stopper, and then storage right here. Storage down here for the pots and pans, and then storage down here as well. And then I forgot to mention this, but these are also storage spaces too. And then again, like Grand Design does have some of the best quality. So all of these drawers are gonna be made of real wood and they're gonna be very hard to break. Additionally, two coat hooks, which is pretty cool. Lots of lights in here, fire alarm, vents. Vent with a max, not max air fan, but a little air fan, little rinkadink air fan, nice little skylight and then speakers there and then there should be one over there yep 13.5 btu ac and then here you can control the ac so let's move on to the bathroom you're gonna have a towel rack right here medicine cabinet for the mirror sink storage space down here storage right there porcelain throne with the saw, ooh, I don't know if this is soft clothes. Yep, that's not soft clothes. Some of the um, fifth wheels do have the soft clothes. The toilet seat, which is very nice, especially when you have those noisy kids. Um, and then these are super deep. So these literally go to the wall. So look at that, like that length, like literally my arm, my wingspan. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that is, but that's a lot of storage space. Um, so let's hop on in okay guys i'm in the shower um i'm six foot and half an inch technically um rounded up six one but as you can see here i have plenty of space i'd say if you're about six five or above that's when you're gonna start having problems but until then you should be good um as for like width i mean i'm pretty big like i'm like 205 210 um like yeah like this is this might be in the way like if i'm turning but i mean for the most part like I have elbow room, which is nice and is pretty needed in showering, you know, like you're like scrubbing off, whatnot. <laughs> um, I'd say it's a decent size shower, especially compared to some of the other ones that I've been in. This one's pretty decent. So I'd give this one a B plus. All right, let's get out of here and on to the bedroom. Also, little shower rack right there. So these do have the sliding doors, um, if you couldn't tell. So, sliding doors here, and then 
to lock it, you just use the button. Pretty cool. All right, in the bedroom, queen size bed, nice little storage space underneath. Get your nice little window. TV backer locations over here, so you can put a swing arm, so then that way you can watch TV up there. You have an outlet with a TV connection right there. You get two closets on this one, one on each side, and then again, you get those nice drawers. You also get two outlets on each side. You get two USB ports as well, and then you have a little um, storage space up top. You also get your own little vent, so all you have to do is open that up, and then you can get fresh air in, inside of your bedroom. Another cool part about this camper is the fact that it is a dual entrance one. Boom, check that out. So if mom and dad want to get to the campsite and don't want to wake up the kids by having to go out the back entrance, use your own door. So that's pretty cool. Something that I really like about this Grand Design Transcend Explore. That was a quick run through of the 2023 Grand Design Transcend Explore 265BH. One of the most popular bunkhouse floor plans in America. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, and share what you'd like to see in the future. And for more information about Grand Design and the construction quality specifically, go to the bishes.com slash blog website. I'll link to it down in the description, but I should have a Grand Design construction blog coming out sometime soon that really goes in depth into the superior construction quality of Grand Designs. And if you are one of those people who really likes to know what kind of camper, like what quality camper you're looking at, that's definitely an article I'd recommend. So anyways, check it out. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys loved it. And um, I'll see you on the road making memories at Bish's RVs. See you guys.